Right, let's bring in Texas Senator Ted Cruz's new book, Justice Corrupted, How the Left Weaponized Our Legal System, comes out tomorrow. So congratulations on your latest book, Senator. It's good to have you with us. You know, I guess one of the questions that comes into my mind when I listen to Bill Malusian's report is if, if it's true that Republicans may retake the House and possibly the Senate as well, as we've been talking about today, just based on what we're seeing out there, um, would they complete a wall across the southern border? I mean, what, what would be different in this situation? Well, listen, let me say Bill Malugin's reporting is incredibly important. He's one of the very few journalists actually sure reporting is. on yeah. the chaos on the southern border. And, and, and the video, the coverage he puts out is really important. This is a man-made crisis. It was caused by Joe Biden and the Democrats. Three decisions they made caused this crisis. Number one, they halted construction of the border wall. Number two, they reinstated the disastrous policy of catch and release. And number three, Biden pulled out of the incredibly successful remain in Mexico policy. That's what caused this crisis. We went from, under Donald Trump, the lowest illegal immigration in 45 years to now under Joe Biden, the highest illegal immigration ever recorded. 4.4 million people have crossed illegally since Biden became president. And I'll tell you, a big part of my book, Justice Corrupted, is it lays out the utter lawlessness of this administration. The reason for that crisis, Biden and the DOJ refused to follow the law. And so the way to stop yeah. it is we got to actually deport people who cross illegally. If you don't do that, yeah. you'll never solve this problem. All right. Uh, you know, but I asked you what would change. Uh, you know, would, would we see a, a wall? I mean, I think people are going to go, oh, I have to wait two more years potentially to see this problem go away real quick. because so, some... so we need majorities in both houses. We need to have hearings. We need to have oversight. We need to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas, the secretary of Homeland Security. And we need to fight to defund the 87,000 new IRS agents and put all that funding on securing the border. Biden and the Democrats are going to fight us. It's going to be a battle. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, Martha, next year, it's going to be a battle where Republican leadership is going to be less than eager to take yeah. on the Democrats. I hope when we have majorities, we actually use it and fight because this fight matters. Yeah, I, I think it's incumbent uh, upon, you know, if, if you win the majority, I think yeah. people want to see actual yes. results. Uh, yes. So let's see this today because you, you've had an interesting yeah. time so far in New York. <laughs> you went to a baseball game and didn't mm -hmm. get a warm welcome. Uh, and then you were on The View today and this happened. Watch this. Excuse guys, me. We do excuse climate. me. Ladies, ladies, excuse us. Let us do our job. Let us do our job. We hear what you have to say, but you got to go. You got to go. You got to let us do our job. They weren't even protesting you. You got to let us do our job. So what were they protesting? It, they were climate radicals, and they were, they were screaming, but it, it shut the view down for a while. And I'll tell you, it was... Uh, it was a bit of a circus, but the reason I went on The View is I think it's important that, that conservatives reach much more broadly than just preaching to the choir, that we need to reach a lot of the viewers of The View have only seen one partisan story the whole time. You know, a few minutes later, Whoopi Goldberg insisted she was obsessed with January 6th, and she said, it's only Republicans who engage in violence. And I couldn't help but laugh. I said, did you miss an entire year of Antifa riots all over the country, firebombing cities? And Whoopi insists, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what Antifa riots? What the book Justice Corrupted does is it walks through the lawlessness of Democrats trying to abolish the police, of George Soros DAs letting violent criminals go. It walks through Barack Obama and now Joe Biden politicizing the Department of Justice, politicizing the FBI and the IRS, and using it to target their enemies. And I think it is an incredible threat to the rule of law and our liberty. And th this book tries to explain what the threat is. It's also the first inside account of what happened on January 6th. I was standing there objecting on the Senate floor, and I walked the readers through what was going on behind closed doors in the Senate and the legal challenges. And, and as you know, President Trump asked me to argue his case before the Supreme Court, if the Supreme Court had taken it. So I described that case and what the fight was all about. All right. Ted Cruz, Senator from Texas, thank you very much. Good to have you here. Thank you, Martha. Uh, you, you know, you got it's tough sometimes to be a visitor in New York. Uh, <laughs> you got uh, to see it today, but congratulations night... to your Astros because people were flipping the bird and doing all kinds of rude things. Um, my only answer to that. Because they didn't like that you were wearing a big Astros jacket. My, my only answer to that is scoreboard. Uh, 
know. Tough day for Yankee fans. And I know you're sure. a Mets, I'm a Mets fan, fan so. so we have a lot of tough days. Good to see you, Senator. Good Thank to see you. Thank you so much for being here today. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.